soon as God begins to speak, as soon as God begins to send everything he, he, He's going to do in your life, and, and praise God, as soon as you begin to send, then here comes the tester. Here comes the old Satan. And, and, and it's not that he can defeat you, but God allows some testing in everybody's life. Now here's what the New Testament believers have come to think through the years. Well, God wouldn't do anything. God doesn't do anything, but he allows the testing. He allows Satan. We see it in, in, in when, when uh, he comes to Job. We see how Satan be, begins to speak and, and begins to counteract and talk. And so God allows that in our life. Uh, Satan wants to pull out of it, uh, but God begins to speak. And it's not that God's not going to do it, uh, but he sits back and he watches the waiting process. And inside of the moving with God, inside of the waiting on God to move, sometimes the greatest breakthroughs that we'll ever get comes through waiting on God. And it's tough. I'm telling you right now, one of the hardest things you can do is to wait. You know it. You see it. You, you even know how it should be done. Anybody ever know how it should be done? I mean, you get it in your mind. Matter of fact, you write it down on paper. And you got it all down. Well, when this happens and this happens and this happens, Lord, I don't understand. Why ain't you allowing this to happen? Lord, you know I need this job. Lord, you know I need this move. God, you know I need this in my life. You know I can't do this unless I got this much money. God, I don't understand. You spoke this to me. Lord, you know that this is what I need. You know that, that, that this is how much needs to take it. I don't understand. Understand it. I got it all rolled out right here, God. This is all you got to do. And then we go through that process till we're waiting. Now, can I tell you this? I am sure, I am, my, I am positive that the moment that Joseph's feet hit that pit, he forgot about his dreams. That the moment that they dropped him down in that pit, he wasn't thinking, oh, Moon and the stars, they're going to fly on down. Oh, yes, this is a, I, I can guarantee you right now that the moment his feet hit that pit, that the last thing he was thinking was about his dream. Then for the next few years, he would have to go through a waiting process, sold into slavery. Goes into Egypt. God is getting something. He is painting a picture. He, 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 everything that he is doing is portraying and painting a picture for Christ to come. And we got to look at it this way. That everything that God does in our life, everything that he is doing, we, we, we have to understand that it's Christ in us. Ephesians chapter 1 says in Christ, it says in Christ like, like 17 times that everything that we do is in Christ. That we got to know that the performance level that we are at right now has got nothing to do with us, but it's got everything to do with Christ. Amen. And sometimes we forget that what we are and who we are started with Christ first. And so God takes Joseph through this waiting process. His feet hits the pit. The last thing that he is thinking about at this moment was all of those dreams that God gave him and how the goosebumps that he felt when he began to tell everybody what God was going to do. The last thing on his mind was thinking about all those dreams. And he goes into slavery. And, and praise God, he gets into Egypt. And then, and, and then all of a sudden, the favor that was upon him before he went with a coat of many colors, God didn't remove the favor, but he allowed the favor. And so now the favor comes up. Now he's in Potiphar's house. And now, and now uh, underneath Potiphar, he, he gets Potiphar's uh, eye and attention. Uh, and Potiphar says, this man is valuable unto me. Uh, and so he pulls him out. Uh, and so now they're going along real good. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, here comes a test of character. Potiphar's wife begins to watch him. She watches Joseph. The Bible says that not one time, but many times, She's calling out to Joseph to sleep with her. And he said, I will not. This is one thing that I like quote what he said. That, 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 is, that, that, is, that is point and it's truth. And he said, what, you mean that I would sin against God? 
And so he walks away from it. One time the Bible says he runs out of his coat to get away from her. His character being tested. All the things that he did for Potiphar. Potiphar doesn't see how loyal he was. Potiphar doesn't see how valuable he was. All of a sudden, everything that he was goes to pot. And so now his character is tested. And now he goes back into prison. And he's waiting again. Psalm says that he was tested. That his soul was laid in iron. That God was developing something. Can I tell you something right now? That when God, praise God, when he begins to develop something in you, and it's, and, 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 and it's God that's doing it. I want you to know that every devil from the pit of hell will come out and try to stop what God is doing inside of your life. If God ever tells you that this is what he's going to do, I'm telling you right now, Satan will do everything he can to stop the process of you seeing it. <clears throat> Joseph knew what he was going to become. He had those dreams. He had those visions. In a penitentiary twice, God's testing, he's developing character. Character is like this. Character is not what people says about you. Because, because what people says about you is what people see. But character is what nobody sees. Character is what comes out of you when all the lights are turned out and nobody's around. And you're just you. So God is trying to get that kind of character to perform on the outside. He's trying to get that kind of character that no matter what situation you are in, you have the character of God every step of the way. That no matter where you're going, that your character for God remains the same. Now I'm here to tell somebody in here tonight that yes, you're going to have those moments when you become absolutely human. Do you know what I'm talking about? where you lose all your character. It just goes out the window. Everything you've been trying to develop for 30 years, just, just in five minutes, just shoot. But God isn't look, looking what you lose, lost in 30 minutes. He's looking at what he's developing over the years. We hit so the sound.